So in Adil Global 2024, we have ISRO Chairman as Somanath with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for joining with us. ISRO is now becoming one of the largest and uh, trusted space agencies in the world. And what makes us unique this year? See, we have been working on, uh, uh, on projects that are important for the country. Not really to compete with anyone, to really create capability that, is, that make us more independent, uh, more Almandirpar to say precisely. So some of the technologies which are required to do that we have been developing over the last many years. And the second aspect is we have been looking at how that uh, whatever we develop will become useful for the nation in some ways or in the form of the applications. And also do that in very, very controlled budget. I won't say it's a very less budget, but it's a significant budget, but in a very controlled manner so that it doesn't do a waste. So all this I really paid off in the last 60 years. So we were able to create an end-to-end -end capability with certain uh, power and cap strength, which is now well respected all over. And many of the uh, highlights of the missions like the Moon mission or the mission to Mars have been you know, one of the success stories, how we achieved that. Now beyond this, we are looking at a real significant scale-up with the support of private industries. That's why we are into, into the public domain. Earlier, we were more confined within the research and the technology domain. But we speak to uh, startups, we talk to industries, we talk to investors, and uh, all this becomes important because we want to see this growth replicated in, in companies and industries in, in, all, in all across the country and create some economic value out of all of this. So it's not technology which is important, it's finally the business sense and how, the, how it gives jobs, you know, uh, revenues and profitability to sustain itself. So we realize this and that's why there is a big change. So uh, SpaceX is the talk of the town and how do you feel this uh, dominance of this uh, corporate companies in the uh, space sector? There is nothing wrong in that. It has always been so in US. Uh, we are talking about US ecosystem, but it's not replicated everywhere. It's only in US this uh, uh, phenomena is there. And it has been so, like the companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, uh, McLean Douglas, all used to be there and we never used to talk to uh, talk about them. It is because of the one person, Elon Musk, you are talking about SpaceX. Because he is leading from the front as a person. But there were no single individual who was leading from the front in case of Lockheed Martin or McLean Douglas or Boeing. Okay, so we never knew about them. That's all. Uh, otherwise, it has been always like that. Yes, yes. So, uh, how has uh, Chandrayaan 3's success contributed uh, to the India's, you know, uh, position in the global space exploration? Along with that, what are the next steps in the India's exploration of the Mars? See, Chandrayaan 3 really changed the narrative because we we were now seen as a power in terms of technology. We are able to do it at very low cost. We are able to engineer it everything in India without much of uh, global support. So all of this uh, pl place raise our bar, our expectations very high. And every young people in India is inspired by this story. So we will have to cash on it. We have to make use of it in terms of participatory uh, work in the space. So, so that's what we are on now. Sir, how do you see the role of uh, private players in India? Because you already mentioned that uh, in the space program, especially with the establishment of in space. Yeah, private uh, ecosystem was already growing uh, for the last 10 years or so, but nobody was looking at it in a very serious way. But uh, with the creation of space uh, opening uh, as well as space policy and creation of in space, we created a structured approach to support them. So that's why there is a there is an encouragement and there is an energy in that sector now. What are the opportunities you see the space startups in India? There are many things, uh, right from rocket building to applications, but really the business sense is more into the application side and I believe that more and more companies in the application side will come in and uh, they will develop applications which will be used by someone so that some business and turnover will happen which will drive the building of new satellites which will also drive the demand for more rockets. And finally, what is your ultimate vision uh, about India's uh, space mission? See, we would like to see a uh, very prosperous economic activity around space. Of course, uh, my, uh, very important my, you know, news, news generating missions are important, but equally important is how it uh, support uh, the business ecosystem. That's, that's what I would like to see.